welcome to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 32. It is the golden calf chapter, and today verse 24. Aaron is uh, replying to Moses' charge that you caused these people to sin. Finally, Aaron comes to this statement. I said to them, whoever has any gold, let them tear it off. So they gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and out came this calf. You know, I can't laugh, but this is, this is just the purest of absurdity. Uh, he is dodging, he's weaving, he's spinning. Uh, he is not going to own up to this, you know. I, 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 my part in this was very small, is basically Aaron's argument. The people are messed up. And look, not only that, but there was a miracle, you know. I put the gold in the fire and, and this calf came out. Really? Does he expect Moses to believe that? What, what pure, pure nonsense, the purest of nonsense. God, would God do a miracle and create a calf there? Where did that come from? So this is, Moses just, he doesn't even say anything. He just dis, he dismisses this straight away. But look at the weak and wimpy and lame and disgusting argument of Aaron. Now, if I were in Aaron's shoes and I'm trying to cover my tracks, maybe I would be just as shifty. I hope not, but, uh, but we could see where he's coming from. He's, he's doubtless very, very afraid and he's just chattering and trying to make excuses. Friends, be clear, God does not do miracles for people who are violating his commandments, you know, very overtly, very openly. And, you know, it's one thing to be in ignorance and, and see God do something that maybe would seem like it doesn't match his norm. But when you've been told, when you've agreed to the Ten Commandments, and then you go along and you break commandment number one and number two, no gods before me and no make no idols and don't bow down to them, etc., how how is there anything you can you can say to that except that uh, no no we didn't throw the gold in the fire and the calf the calf just sort of comes out of that it just sort of miraculously happens what what a uh, ridiculous thing all right tomorrow morning might be the most interesting one on this so let's watch for it.